Hello everybody, this is Detective Daddy from Boston, Massachusetts, and as you can see, I have my third custom wrap bankroll pennies of the year already. The first two are absolutely amazing, so I'm hoping this one is going to be just as good. We're going to do a video on this, and also, fill in some of those books in the back. There's a couple of big ones we're looking for, such as the most recent 2019 Denver, and the 68S that I'm hoping to get. Well, let's get into these rolls. Be back with the first find. Okay, everybody, this is going to be the 10th one of these I've got of the year already. I'm actually holding on to them to see how many I get throughout the whole year. Take a look. We get a dime. The year on this is a 1965. It looks like. Can't make it out. It might be a 69. Either way, we'll take it. Back to the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll number five right now and finally got a decent looking 2019D. Let me see if I can straight clear that up just a whole bunch there for you. There we go, and I don't know what's going on with the shadowing. Yikes, that is just terrible. Be right back. Just so everybody knows, I've been holding on to this 2019D, which you can barely even tell it's a 2019D, since about box two. I'm very glad I got the other one I just found. That was in roll five of box five. Well, we'll be back to the next find. Okay, but I guess I've been getting spoiled lately with getting wheat pennies, because we are literally 10 rolls in, and if you look over here, this whole section is a wheat penny section, and there's not a single one there. I do have one Canadian, it's 1980-something. There's a 59 and a 59D. Then I have the 2019D I found and the dime. That is it. Ouch. Let's hope this box picks up quickly. Back with the next find. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 13, and finally have our first wheat penny. I was starting to get a little worried there, obviously. But as you can see, this one has uh, some nice uh, wheat ears. I already seen the date, so I was really surprised at this. Look at that, 1936 in not bad condition for me in circulation, and it is one we need for the collection. I'll be back with the next find. Okay, everybody, roll 17, we have our weedy number two, which is a 1947 Philadelphia. Not in bad shape. Might upgrade the album, we'll have to take a look. Back with the next. Okay, everybody, we're on roll 21, and this one could be, uh, this is going to be the third weedy, could be an old one, let's take a look. Not really. 1946 Denver. But we'll take it. Back with the next. Okay, buddy, this is roll 28. And as you can see, it's got a big black mark on it. On the other boxes of uh, customer wraps that I've had, these ones here have had like four or five wheat pennies in each. So I'm hoping this one does as well because right now we stand at three wheat pennies and that is it. So let's find out. I'm going to get into them and show you what I find. Here they are, and as you can see, right there is going to be wheat penny number four of this box. Okay, let's reveal it. See what we got. 1944 Philadelphia. We'll take it. Back with the next. A few coins later, we had a very nice 1964 Canadian Younghead. Okay, so that roll did finish up. Just had the one weedy and the uh, one Canadian. This is a 59, which I do keep through those, but all of these here are at least AUs, if not BU, uh, since I've been finding in there. 68, 70, 71, 72, and 73. With that, let me get back to the hunt, and we'll be back. Okay, everybody, roll 32 gives us weedy number five. Let's take a look, see what we got. 1950, Philadelphia, back with the next. Okay, everybody, roll 33, our fifth weedy of the box. Let's take a look. 1948, Philadelphia, excuse me, that is weedy number six. Back with the next. Okay, everybody, this is in roll 37. This is another one with a black mark on it. We have a 1956 Philadelphia. Be back with the next. Same roll, roll number 37. Let's take a look. 44 Philadelphia, and these are not in bad shape either. A few coins later, let's see what we got. 47 Philadelphia. Just two coins later, 1956 Denver. Okay, roll 38, weedy number 11, and it is a 57 Denver. Same roll, 38, I'm gonna have weedy number 12 and 13. That is a 52 Denver, and 51 Philly, back to the next. Okay, everybody, roll 42, weedy 14. 53, Denver. Still the same roll, two more weedies. 
So number 15 is uh, 56 Denver. 16. 53 Philly. Okay, we're on roll 43. Uh, two pennies in. We got a first witty on this roll, and it is a 1940. Back with the next. Same roll. Might be a little older. Let's take a look. No, it's not. 1953 Denver. About halfway through the roll. Witty number three. What do we have? 1946 Philadelphia. A few coins later, witty number four. 1944 Philadelphia. I just spread out the roll and I see three Wheaties looking at me. Let's take a look. This is the first one. This is number five in this roll. 1956 Philadelphia. Number six is a 44 Philadelphia. And another one. Let's take a look. A nice one here. What do we got? 56 Denver. Same roll. Wheaty number seven. 57 Denver. Roll number 44, weedy number 25. 57 Denver. Just laid out roll 45 and this popped out. It's a euro, two cent. Not sure from which country, however, because it doesn't say. If anybody knows, please leave comments down below. Okay, but here is a wrap up. Uh, what we need to, with is a 1936, which will fit in with the collection, then a 40. Uh, Philly, four, 1944 Phillies, a 46 and a 46D. Uh, 247 Phillies, one will fit in the collection, a 48, 50, 51, and a 52D. A 53, two 53Ds, two 56Ds, 356, excuse me, 256 Phillies, 356 Denvers, 357 Denvers. And then there was a bunch of 47s and some S's that I had. Uh, for the 09s, I had a type 1, 2, and 3, all Philadelphia's. Canadians, it was 10 of them total. The uh, Euro ended up being a German 2002. So I ended up using Coinoscope on that to figure that one out. And um, this, there was also a 1969 diamond this here. So this was an awesome hunt for uh, a circulated box. That'll be it for now. Until next time, happy hunting.